All right, in this video, we're gonna look at amp tremolo on the head rush pedal board. Hey guys, this is Dr. McFarland, and if you wanna be a more confident musician, definitely consider subscribing to my channel below, and be sure to click on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I release new content. So what we're gonna look at today is the amp tremolo that comes on some of these Fender amps and even some of the uh, Saldano amps as well. So this is a nice little feature to have because amp tremolo just sounds really cool. There's just something about amplifier tremolo that just has a very natural uh, washy sound to it. So what we're gonna do is go into hardware assign and we're gonna click on amp. We can say vibrato so now this vibrato is assigned to a switch and we can move that around anywhere we want. We're going to take this volume out. So now what we can do is we can kick in the amp tremolo. So we can either on or off. You can see I'm changing that status by clicking the switch on or off. So let's go ahead and listen to what a medium tempo speed sounds like with the intensity down. And once we find the tempo that we like, we can turn the intensity down to blend it in a little bit better. And you can also have the sync to be on or off, but I prefer just to have uh, set my own speed. It sounds a little bit more natural. All right, let's go ahead and add in a tremolo pedal. Just to see how it compares. We'll do a normal square wave. Let's just go to hardware assign and let's put the tremolo over here. So you notice when it's on the amplifier, it says vibrato, but the uh, the pedal is actually called tremolo. And back in the day, they kind of, I wouldn't say mislabeled it, but they just, you know, they didn't call it tremolo when it was actually, uh, you know, on the Fender amps itself. Um, they call it vibrato for some reason. So who knows why? So let's turn the vibrato off and let's listen to the tremolo sound. All right, so we're gonna have to go in here Let's turn the sync off. You adjust the rate time. And here's the depth. We have a triangle wave and a square wave for the shape. So triangle is going to be a little smoother. The square is going to be a little bit more choppy sounding. All right, very cool. Let's figure out what this phase offset does. Sounds like it widens the uh, the stereo field a little bit. 
This is just in my headphones. I only have, uh, I'm recording this only in mono. But if you listen to this in stereo, either on headphones or your studio monitors, then you're gonna hear a little bit of, just a little bit of spread there. So that sounds really good. Let's listen to the amp trim low again. All right, let's, uh, let's match the tempo a little bit here. And it actually sounds pretty much the same. Um, it's not too bad. All right, so there you go. There's two different tremolo sounds. And um, you can do this for other amps as well, but typically your Fender amps is the ones that's going to have your tremolo included in the amp um, i think there is a marshall amp that has tremolo on it as well so just kind of mess around with it if you want to use a separate pedal for tremolo you can or if you want to assign the amp tremolo to a foot switch in the hardware assigns you can do that as well so i am dr mcfarland i will see you in the next video keep rocking hey guys thanks for checking out my videos and my youtube channel if you want to see a lot more cool content be sure to head over to drmcfarlandstudios.com.